Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Club Box, what we're going to do is we're going to install our Harbor Freight shallow water well pump, and uh, we're going to utilize our rainwater collection system. So y'all come on and let's check it out. Well, I have a 30 by 50 metal building, and all along the back, I ran a rain gutter all the way down, and then I uh, have a 2,500 gallon tank to catch all the runoff. And uh, surprisingly, it fills up really pretty quick in just a couple of good rains. Well, it's a little breezy out here, so I hope uh, it's not interfering with the video too much. But what we did at first, we poured a little concrete slab, used six bags of that pre-mixed concrete, and uh, made a 32 by 36. And then just made kind of a simple frame that I can attach my uh, tin to. And uh, so anyway, little pump fits in there pretty nice. And uh, so we'll stick it in there and just see how much room we have. Well, it's a pretty nice little pump. It already has its pressure switch and it's wired for 110. Comes with a pressure gauge. And uh, it's supposed to cut on at 30 and cut off at 50. So that's a good range uh, for pressure for watering or, or anything like that. Well, here we are a day or so later and we've got the tin on it. And uh, I've got the uh, plumbing parts ready to hook the pump up. I'm going to connect it up to the tank and then we'll connect it to the pump. And I'll kind of show you some of that as I go along. Well, here's where I'm going to transition from, I believe it's like two inch down to one inch. The inlet on the pump is a one inch inlet. And so that's what I'll be going to the pump with. And this is how I have it plumbed uh, into the pump shed. Well, we now have the pump installed. Uh, we've got the plumbing installed. And uh, I've even temporarily have it powered up. And uh, we've been uh, pumping a little water with it. And uh, I'll show you more of that a little closer up in just a second. Well, here's our supply hose from our tank, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but over here in the corner, let me change the angle. Over here in the corner, that brass uh, is our brass check valve right there, and that helps keep prime on the pump at all times. This pump, it comes with its uh, pressure switch preset, and uh, already wired for 115 with a little uh, plug already installed. I plan on running uh, some permanent power out here. Right now I only have it hooked up to an extension cord. Uh, this pipe here is a pipe that you might use on a hot tub or something like that. It was a good solid pipe uh, but still flexible so uh, I didn't have to be concerned about it collapsing on this being a suction line right here. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you it pumping. I'm going to turn my water on. I'm trying to get you to position so you can see that gauge. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But it comes on at 30 and goes off roughly at 45 or 50. And it does a pretty good job on holding the pressure. And 30 to 50 pounds pressure is uh, plenty for what I need it for.
and that pump has the ability to go ahead and build up the 50 pounds while I'm still uh, spraying the water too. Well, all I really lack uh, is running the permanent power to the uh, pump house. And uh, I tell you, I think I'll call this a video right now, kind of getting it up to this point. And I'll make a part two on running the power and that'll be the final completion of the uh, pump house and the DIY pump install for the uh, rainwater collection tank. So anyway, as always, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glovebox, and I'm out of here.